Welcome to our lecture online. Here we have another circuit that we're going to solve with the magic of superposition. What do we mean by the magic of superposition? It means that we can take a single circuit which has multiple sources, a current source and a voltage source, and separate it into two separate circuits. Everything is the same except in this circuit we've eliminated the voltage source, made it into a short circuit and in this circuit we've eliminated the current source and we make that then in an open circuit. When we remove the current source it becomes an open circuit. When we remove the voltage source it becomes a closed circuit or a short circuit. Notice we're trying to find the current here, I, and notice that when we separate the two circuits over here we simply have a voltage supply and a series circuit so we simply want to get I1 here and over here Notice we have a current source that drives current into the circuit. There's a branch point. Part of it will go this way. Part of it will go this way. We don't care how much goes here. We care how much goes here. We call that I3. And eventually I will then be I1 minus I3. Notice that I3 is in the opposite direction. We also changed from the time, from the time domain into the frequency domain. Notice we have a uh, current source of 5 times the cosine of 2t plus 10 degrees that changes to a voltage of 5 with a phase angle of 10 omega in this case is 2 here we have 10 with a phase angle of minus 60 notice we have a 4 Henry uh, inductor so the the reactants, the inductive reactance is omega times L 2 times 4 is J8 and for the capacitor it's 1 over omega C 1 over 2 times 1 8 gives us a minus J4 all right, let's do the easy circuit first. So here we have a voltage source and we have simply a series circuit, which means that I1 is equal to the voltage divided by the impedance. In this case, the voltage is 10 with a phase angle of minus 60 degrees and the impedance is simply the sum of all the impedances here. So we have 3 plus J8 minus J4 which is equal to 10 with a phase angle of minus 60 degrees divided by 3 plus J4. Of course, in order to divide that, we have to change that to magnitude and phase angle. So this becomes 10 with a phase angle of minus 60 degrees in the denominator. That's a 3, 4, 5. So we have 5 with a phase angle of 51.13, if I remember right, right? That's 4 divided by 3, then take the inverse tangent, 53.13 degrees. 10 divided by 5, which is 2, and then the phase angle of minus 60, minus 53, that would be minus 113.13 degrees. Oop, there we go. And then, of course, we want to convert that into uh, real and imaginary parts. So this is equal to I1, 113.13. Uh, negative. Well, it doesn't matter. Negative. So we take that and we take the cosine of that, which is going to be negative times 2. And that gives us a minus 0 0.78. 6 minus 0 0.786 and then we have a 100 and oh wait a minute yeah that's correct cosine 113 minus 113 yep that's about right and then the 113.13 uh, we multiply we take the sine of that times 2 and that's going to be a minus because it's a negative angle so we end up with a minus j 1.839 okay so there's our current one now we still need to find current three and we can find that right here so we come over here and we say i2 is equal to the current source of 5 with a phase angle of 10 degrees. Now it's going to divide into a current in this direction and a current in this direction, I3. To find I3, we take I2 and we multiply times the, the impedance in the other branch, which is J8, divided by the total impedance, which is going to be 3 plus J4. Of course, now we have to write it as I2, which is 5 with a phase angle of 10 degrees, 
multiply times J8, which is 8 with a phase angle of 90 degrees, and divide that by 345, which is 5 times a phase angle of 53.13 degrees. Okay, 5 divided by 5, that's easy. We have 8. Phase angle of 100 minus 53.13, that would be phase angle of 46.87 degrees. And now again, we're going to write it as a real and imaginary part. So 46.87, take the cosine of that and multiply times 8. We get 5.469 for the real part. And plus J, the imaginary part, will be 46. 0.87, take the sine of that, times 8 equals 5.838. All right, so now we have I3, we have I1, we can subtract them from one another to get I. So I is equal to I1 minus I3. I1 is equal to a minus 0 0.786 minus J, 1.839. Okay, hmm, it's kind of interesting. Minus 60, minus 60, hmm, okay. Um, and then we subtract from that, minus I3, which is 5.469, and plus J5838. So everything is going to be negative. We have uh, 5.838, so we have 5.469 plus 0.786. So we have a minus 6.255 minus J1.839 and plus 5.838 that gives us minus j 7.677 so if we now write that in a magnitude and phase angle format that would be minus 1 times 6.255 plus j 7.677 and so that becomes 6.255 plus 7.677, oh wait, 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 uh, cancel that. 6.255 squared plus 7.677 squared, take the square root, that gives us 9.909. We still have a negative in front of that, so it's a negative one times this with a phase angle of 7.677 divided by 6.255, take the inverse tangent, which is 50.83 degrees. Okay, but now we have a negative one in front of that. So if we then subtract 180 minus 180, that gives us 9.909 with a phase angle of minus 129 point one seven degrees all right so that is i and let's see here i think that is so we have that in magnitude and phase angle format we have i in terms of real and imaginary parts and let's see here is there anything else that we need i think that's it that's all they want to know That should be it. Oh, okay. Um, what if we want to write the answer in the time domain format? So we could do that too. So we can say that I is equal to the magnitude. The magnitude is 9.909 times the cosine of omega t, which is 2t, and the phase angle would be minus 129.17 degrees. So, I guess we could also write the current in the time domain format, since, of course, they gave us the original, the original circuit in the time domain, and that is how it's done. I think it's right. Let's find out. 
Yeah, that looks right. Of course, amp, because it's current. Well, I'm done. Done for